Michael Fairman on the set of Panem, on the plane of the on set the of plane. Panem, with Kareen Van Ass, who plays Colette. <laughs> Hi. On Pan Am. And you're going to show me stewardess tips or what? <laughs> I was supposed to serve you a drink. <laughs> I'm so my drink? sorry. I know. The cherries <laughs> right, are ready. Everything right. and is there. And of course, you have a blanket, a Pan Am blanket. Yeah. You could give me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A pillow. So, how does it feel like kind of playing a stewardess on the set in the 60s? Is it like you weren't born in the 60s, so you kind of I wasn't. have no idea? No. Really. Um, it's so. Well, first of all, it's it's so different. I mean, everybody, we all know that it's not the same thing. We all see it every week when people watch the show. Oh my God, it's just, um, the job was different, but the passengers also were traveling differently. They traveling so in general. They were disgruntled. They were more happy to travel. <laughs> they were, <laughs> they, they were. It was something exceptional. It was something completely unusual. It was a trip in itself, you know? Going somewhere, having the chance to go somewhere. And now we just assume that it's possible to go anywhere we want for a few hundreds, uh, hundred dollars. But back then it was something really special. So to remind ourselves all the time that it was special for the crew, for the passengers, for everybody. So to keep that idea right. is really important, I think, for right. us. Right. And now in story, Colette, is, she's got a thing for Dean, I think, kind of a budding. Yeah, for the question him. is, does he have a thing for her? Does she, right, does he have a thing for her? And, and she actually got to fly the plane. Yeah. So you put your, thing, your hands on the handle and you were like. That was so, yeah, that was really fun. And it was really, it was a short scene. But it was, I don't know, it was saying so much, the fact that she was really, that she felt really privileged by the fact that he let her do that, something that he so was, now she he's not special, allowed. Right? Yeah, she, she feels feel entitled exactly. to special. <laughs> exactly. Right. And the look that he gives her also when he sees how much she, she likes it. And um, so yeah, they have a really nice so relationship. Spark, so sparks. Yeah, here and, and there. And I, yeah, 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 it yeah. will develop. So Don't you, worry. So you are from Canada. I am. I am from Montreal. And yeah. From Montreal. So do you kind of go into a French mode and start speaking French in front of the cast, <laughs> or or? But they have you speak French a lot on the show. Yeah, they have me speaking a, uh, a lot of French on the show with a different accent though, since uh, Colette is French okay, what European. Give me a little Colette. Um, Colette parle comme ça. Alors vous voulez un verre, vous voulez quelque chose, et and me when I speak French. Je parle comme ça. Alors, je veux un verre, tu veux quelque chose. It's way, it's much lower. Okay, clearly, I don't know what she said. So, we're going to translate. <laughs> but it's, a, it's, it's an inter interesting good? part it's of the interview. Good. <laughs> this is the best part. I can go on and on and on like that. Um, but yeah, so the French is a little different. So for me, the challenge is interesting. I've, I've worked in French uh, last year, so I, I, ha I had to work on my European accent. So it's fine for that. But it's really cool to have, to see that the network is not scared of, um, a writing, or writing or yeah, but you uh, speak like yeah, you know. writing all these French lines, and every time we get a script with more French, I'm always amazed to see that. Wow, they really they like that little flavor that it gives Can, to the show. Does anybody else on the cast speak French? Kelly speaks French. Okay, so, uh, so if you want to say something nasty in French, can, does I just know? have to speak you, fast. You speak <laughs> <fast>. <laughs> that's okay. That's the trick. <laughs> now, one of the things I love um, that you were telling me is you're on Twitter. Yes, I am. And I'm on Twitter. So oh, you are. Yes, I didn't know. We'll have to. We'll have, we'll have to, to connect. follow each other. <laughs> uh, but when you're on Twitter, are you getting feedback from the fans? Uh, yeah. About and like, what are they telling you the most? What, um, are they, or what do they think? Do they tell you what they want to happen or what they're liking? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really surprised to see how much people. Um, that's going to be maybe surprising, but to me, it was really surprising to see how positive uh, people are. You know, you would think that because they're. Um, hiding behind the computer, behind a fake name, probably that they would say like I don't know, uh, not so nice stuff. But no, people are really positive, and it's uh, so it's really. I was a little scared about Twitter at first, but now no, I. You don't have men hitting on you that they <laughs> no, the no, <laughs> and it's fine like that. <laughs> no, but it's so great to receive comments from people all around the world. And to see all their different perspective on, oh, is it going to, oh, we want Dean and Colette to have something going on soon. So um, no, it's really, it's really nice to have that connection with them. And um, when the show airs every Sunday night, I'm there tweeting and re answering a few questions, not all of them, but as much as possible. So, so. you might get her to answer you if you follow her. Yeah, and it's I mean, and, so yeah. and I think it's uh, you know the fan club thing a few years ago when I was writing to my favorite singer. Or and hoping and waiting for uh, for a letter back. Well, it's so much easier right now. You don't have to. You don't need somebody who's sitting at a desk filling out letters and putting the stamps and everything. You just have to take your phone and when you have a few minutes off, you just 
answer a few questions, and I think it's I think it's really cool, and it's cool cool to have that direct direct contact. Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When you get to put on the Pan Am uniform, mm -hmm. the service uniform, do you feel, and you know, we were talking about how it makes you look and yeah. all the curves and everything. Do you feel sexy in it or is it like, I can't breathe? <laughs> <laughs> I feel sexy, but I can't breathe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's sexy when you can't breathe. Right. But uh, no, it's so great to see that, yeah, you feel sexy, but not because, not because you're showing more, just because of the way uh, things are fitted. and. Right. Uh, the way it makes you move, it forces you to move your hips. Um, you can't walk very fast. You have to walk one leg in front of the other. You can't go <laughs> and walking like a penguin. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. Uh, with sneakers, it's really easy, but right. with uh, with a girl, no. So it's uh, it's a different kind of sexy, and it's not. The, um, I think it's beautiful to see with the fashion of the 60s coming back and of the 50s also to see that maybe that sort of sexiness will be mm. yeah will be back and people will find that, yeah, this is more sexy and more intriguing than... Um, and how we schlep around now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. In closing, what would you say to look forward to from Colette? Like if you were to kind of in a broad stroke, what do you think the viewers can look forward to? Um, that love triangle between Colette, Dean and Bridget. Um, I think that what Colette is scared of, uh, which is that uh, this captain is not really available to her, um, I just hope that uh, her fears are not going to be, be what? Help me with a word. Fears are not I going have a to French be word. You know when you're scared of something and you want to make sure that, oh, you think that life will not bring you in that direction, but finally, I mean, it, it is. It's going in that direction. So. That would be the. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back to that. She doesn't want her dreams to be crushed. She wants to exactly. know her man. That, exactly. is, that is what she's saying. <laughs> All but right. uh, so that yeah, that love triangle, and I hope that it's really great to see. I love when Colette has a chance to laugh and have fun, and I think that w with all the girls actually, when we can have right. more serious episodes with m a lot like of the drama. Like the balance, you like the balance. Yeah, the, and I think it's yeah. really good, and I think the viewers like that because then you don't know what to expect. Right. So expect the unexpected. Pan Am Sunday night, 10 p.m. ABC, with the best stewardess, wow. actress, <laughs> Canadian. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nothing. It was my pleasure.